Well, as we mentioned earlier, a rare disease has been confirmed at Texas Children's Hospital in Houston. Health reporter Haley Hernandez is here this morning with uh, what we know about this disease and other health headlines. Today. Good morning, guys. So while we in America consider this disease rare, this is a very common infection in other countries, including in Europe, Asia, the Pacific, and Africa. Worldwide, nearly 90,000 people die from this infection every year, according to health officials. The CDC says the disease is brought into the United States by by unvaccinated people who get infected in other countries. They spread measles to others, and that is what can cause an outbreak. Earlier this month, while speaking to Dr. Peter Hotez from Baylor College of Medicine, he said he's afraid an outbreak can happen in Texas because vaccination rates here are decreasing. The big worry that I have about so many children not getting vaccinated now in Texas is we're gonna see a return of serious and sometimes even deadly childhood infectious diseases. Measles usually begins as tiny white spots inside the mouth, then flat red spots that appear on the face and hairline. The spots may become joined together as they spread from the head to the rest of the body. When the rash appears, a person's fever may spike to more than 104 degrees Fahrenheit. The symptoms of measles usually appear about 7 to 14 days after a person is infected and the disease can be deadly. Now there's evidence of there's plenty of evidence that aspirin helps people who've already had a heart attack or stroke, but it may be may do nothing to prevent the first one. A large study looked at nearly 13,000 people at risk for developing heart problems. Half got a dummy pill while the other half took a daily low dose aspirin in hopes it would prevent heart attack or stroke. After five years, the only difference between the two groups was that those who took the aspirin had more bleeding problems. Now, Pfizer is recalling a specific lot of children's Advil in bubblegum flavor due to mislabeling and concerns of a potential overdose. The dosage cup in the packaging is listed in teaspoons, but the label on the bottle is marked in milliliters. One teaspoon contains five times as much volume as one milliliter. The medicine, a four ounce bottle, was distributed in May and June of this year with the lot number R51129 and an expiration date of November 2020.